Anyone else getting like an 80s porn vibe from this music? Because I absolutely am. <laughs> Save Wally. Well, where'd Wally go? <laughs> Did I lose? Did I go too far out? Yes, apparently. I don't know. I'm doing Wally Chase. Well, I win. I've <laughs> found him. Don't let him go too far away. Oh, this is cool. This is so, like, 80s porn music. Which is really funny, because, like, it started with Wally, like, being, like, patting the... the purple leather couch in the... <laughs> in the spaceship. It's like, mmm, good stuff. This is the setup for a porno. Between two robot lovers. I'm sure that's a thing that exists on the internet. Maybe, maybe not exactly... Oh, damn. Oh, I went the wrong way. Yeah, maybe not exactly the same music, but I'm sure that scenario exists somewhere to our great shame as a race of humans. <laughs> no, no I'm, I, I, I'm not... I don't judge. If, if that's what you're into, cool. Good. You're not hurting anyone. And that's the thing, like, whatever you're into, as long as it's not illegal, and it's... And you don't force it on anyone who doesn't want it. Like, do whatever you want. Like, it's totally fine. <laughs> like, like, I don't understand, like, like, the stigma of furries. Like, there's so much, like, hate on any... I've been noticing a lot um, with Alora's cutscene. Because I uploaded it and there's so much furry hate. Because um, there were some people being like, oh, I think I'm a furry now. Or, like, some people making jokes about it. And some people just genuinely being like, oh, man, this is, like, it's kind of hot and whatever. Um... And, like, like, fair enough. Like, the thing is, like, we've also, like, we've been raised to, at least our generation has been raised to watch cartoons where animals basically are humans with the exception of, like, like, a slightly different coloured skin, uh, maybe a little bit of fur and, like, a different shaped ear or nose or something. The, like, and, like, that's, like, it, it feels so human in that regard. When it's like an actual animal, fair enough, that's that's a little bit different. Um, not wrong, as long as, like, what you're doing isn't illegal. Um, but, but like, uh, oh, uh, I'm ahead of Wally. Um, but, like, it, no, it's just, it's just weird. Like, I can, I can see why people, like, feel that way. Because, like, animated series sort of sexualize it. I think, I think, like, um... Uh, yeah, I just I think there, there's quite a few characters that probably do that, um, intentionally or unin unintentionally. But yeah, it's just I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> the world's weird. People are cruel. Too many people are cruel, and too many people are quick to judge. Like, if you if you don't if you don't agree with those beliefs, try and at least understand where they may be coming from, and that might be a good thing. In the, in the long run, for everyone. Or it won't. Also, am I just destroying the inside of this ship? Because that's not good. That can't be handy. I was going to say, like, I can't move. Are these the canisters I'm trying to destroy? Yes. I was going to say, it looks like these, but I just want to... Whoa, I just want to be doubly certain that I am destroying the right things. Because it would suck if I was destroying the wrong things. But let us not forget, I am absolutely destroying this ship, and that's not good for anyone. <laughs> Who needs a weapon when I have my face that is destroying me slowly? Don't worry, we're insured. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if they are insured. I mean... Oh. Oh no, Wally's gonna die. Yay!
Alright, enter ring mission. Alright, fly for the rings and activate. Okay, it's Superman 64, but good. Here we go. This is interesting, actually. Kind of different. Kind of different in the respect that it's like. Like. A really weird ring challenge in the way that they're laid out, but I'm, I can dig it. Oh, here it is. It's over here. It's far away. It is weird that like you can't really see them until you get like until you get the next one. But like the, I feel like if you approached it at the wrong angle, you could get seriously lost. But, eh, you know. There's another one, two to go. Actually, one to go. There it is. Do I win the thing now? The lens flare? Do, do I win the lens flare? I won the lens flare! Yay! Take out the trash, okay. 50 pieces of trash? That, that's a lot of trash. I'm, I'm the trash robot. Oh. I shoot garbage. Cool. That, that is a lot of trash. Let, let, let us be clear. This is a lot of trash. That seems to be ever growing. It really does though. You've got to stop growing like this. This actually might be a problem. This is actually quite difficult. This actually might be quite difficult. Hmm. I am really not making much progress here. The problem is, I don't know what parts I'm supposed to destroy, because like some of the smaller pieces aren't working, some of the larger pieces were. It's not massively clear which ones I'm, I'm supposed to be aiming for here. Like, is this one? I don't know. I'm currently going to go with no. Is this one? Yes. When it splits up into two, does that count as one? I don't know. Well, I'm going to lose, because I need to get one every second at this point. So that's absolutely not happening. But, hey, I tried. I failed! Yay! I died. Somehow. For reasons that will be unknown to all of us, because it doesn't really make any sense, but whatever. Like, let us be clear, the reason we are doing this absolutely makes no sense. We have zero reason to be doing this. But, fair enough. I will continue to do it. Wow, this is going significantly better. And I don't really know why. What went so different this time? What did I do wrong? I think I went after the wrong sort of trash. There's trash elsewhere, and I think that one doesn't count. That is so incredibly misleading, because yeah, there's trash over there. I don't think that counts towards the total, which, let's be fair, is just... Uh, let, no, let's not be fair. Let's be real, it's just bad game design. Having a trash mission and then some of the trash just outright doesn't count is not good. Because yeah, all of these pieces are working now. Like, even the smaller pieces. So, yeah, now that's, that's silly. That, that's a little bit dumb. Yay, I did it that time. I did it that time because it was really easy. I see, I think. I think I understand, sort of, why that happened. Sure, let's go with yes. Yeah, let's say I do understand.
This is bizarre. But yeah, I I am really enjoying this game. I think it's I think it's an underrated gem. Um, I think it, it's not flawless, but it is definitely a game that I think flew under a lot of people's radar just because it's a movie time game and because I don't know, I don't I, like when you say movie tie-in game, Wally isn't the first thing that would be like, come to mind. It's like, oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. Like, I'm in my mind, I was just like, what the hell do you do in Wally? Like, do I explore C for half an hour and do nothing? Like, is it a trash collection simulator? Like, no, it's actually a very, very clever game. But like, your first instinct isn't, oh yeah, this is gonna be the most groundbreaking thing I've ever played. I'm not saying this game is groundbreaking, but I'm saying it's a lot of fun. Toy Story 2, though. Now, that's a game that was groundbreaking. <laughs> Such a great platformer. Just... What a great game. Truly. Just amazing. Amazing game. Well, I assume this is probably the final, uh... The final, like... Part of this level. I think we're going to end up going up the trash chute and going up to the captain's office at the end of here. Or that'll be the next level, but I think that's probably where this is going. So. Nearly got all the uh, the wallops. There's one. There we go. Done it. And log to mod, fair level. I almost died. It's <laughs> Don't worry about that. Not a big deal. on for a fair while. It's not as engaging as the uh, the first one. The first one was so much more hectic, I think it was more interesting. Um, actually, the first half of this level arguably was more hectic as well. I kind of understand why it isn't as hectic, because, like, you know, you're going through the bowels of the ship, it's got to be quite open, I would imagine. But why does the bowels of the ship have arrows? No. <laughs> Okay, now this is more like it. Precision turning. Good stuff. Um, okay. Wow, that just warped me. That was Ward. That was Ward? That was weird. I like how I completely messed up the word weird. So do I just need to shoot them all? Is, is that the idea? Is, is that the goal here? Just destroy all the keys? Oh, just activate the pylons. Oh, that's simple enough. Uh, is it just triangle or something? Yeah, there you go. Yes, I remember how to do this. Haha! I can do things. Yeah, I think this is the final bit of the level. If I had to take a guess. It's been a cool level, though. I think, I think it's fun. I don't think it's fun. There hasn't been a point in this game that hasn't been fun. With the exception, I guess, of, uh, like, the the random bit that uh, softlocks the game. That was not ideal, but the game itself has been pretty damn good. And uh, I'm actually recording this the day before September. Which means uh, my 10th anniversary month begins tomorrow. By the time this is up, I think it will be well into September. Um, probably maybe like the final two weeks or so. Um, which is exciting. And hoping everything goes well. Because I have many plans for, uh, for the anniversary. And what have I done wrong? Nothing. No, I've done something wrong. The door's not open. What have I done wrong? I've hit them all. Are there some on the bottom? I don't know. Do you want these to die? 
Um, there is a level goal thing. What do you say? Get Geo 4 to open the doors. Okay. Um, but what have I done wrong? Okay, I can't go down there. Noted. Do you want me to destroy all of these? Because that will take a long time. But I will do it uh, anyway. Apparently I'm too close to it, I guess. God, there's so many of them, this will actually take forever. Let me t let me double check something. I'm mildly terrified. One of these I thought didn't have all the things light up. Yes, this one. Oh, please tell me that's not a glitch. I'm half tempted to look at a video to see if that is the cause. Because that might be. And that would suck if it was. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look it up. I think I just need to shoot these things in here. I think. That's what it seems like, judging from the video. At least that's what it looked like they did. Which is, yeah, apparently I do. Okay. Um. Uh, defeat the stewards and the what? Do, do the what now? <laughs> Is it just another case of shooting the, the thing, the people again? What? I think so. It's just another case of shooting them. That nearly killed me. Yep, okay, cool. Good stuff, good stuff. Do I win? <laughs> Is the door open? Can I win now? What am I doing wrong? I don't know. Oh, there's another one. There we go. Yep, I think it's just a case of shooting them. That's very unclear. Like, shooting these is not the, the first... Oh, I'm dead. That's bollocks. That is bollocks. Am I going to have to do the entire room? No, the game was kind. The game was kind... Nope, nope, I'm gonna have to do the entire room. Okay, that's balls. That is some crazy ball sacks right there. That. <sighs> it's out of my control. It's a cutscene. Oh, game, why? You were so good! <laughs> why are you ruining it? Why are you actually ruining some really great stuff you were doing? You had such fine ideas, such really well-created sections. Why ruin it? Why? 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 It's so disappointing! It's so disappointing because it was so good. It was so fun. It had cool, cool stuff. And it's just thrown it away. It's made all of it meaningless because the, the rest of it just glitches out to hell. Like, in ways that are sort of just unfair, and cruel, and just out of your control. And that's the worst thing, like, if it was my fault, I wouldn't care. Like, that's why Super Meat Boy works so well. Like, like, you are in control of the game in every way, shape, and form. It controls so perfectly that any mistake is your own. So, even though the game is brutally difficult, you can't blame the game. Not really. Um, whereas this, I just, I can't help but blame the game because it was during a cutscene and I can't do anything about that. That means I also have to angle myself in a really awkward way, which makes it even just naturally harder as, a, as an objective. Which again sucks, because I don't want to make it harder on myself. I'm sure the developers didn't want to make it harder on, on the player. But alas, that dems the brakes. I've got to I've got to be extremely careful. I'm just not going to move. Cuz I am safe in this spot. It's more or less can I actually win. It's also more or less it's super slow. 
There we go. Do I win? Am I dead? I'm not dead. Excellent news. Oh man. What a what a shame. Well then, that was mostly fun, but awkward at times. Oh well.